Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Lindy Sherries, and today I'm going to show you how to create a website using a tool called Kartra. First thing that you need to do, I'll send a, I'll put the link in my description and then you can just click it. You'll have to just open this page and then click Start Tribe for your own practice until you're comfortable, then you can continue with this tool. And then you click Start Trial or, and then it will open a, a a pop-up like this, then you, it will only charge you $1, but they don't charge your your bank. So all you have to do is just to capture your details and then you're ready to go. It will take you to another page, which looks like this. This page, all you have to do, you'll have to go to my pages and click page, create page, and then launch a builder. And then name your site, click create. And when this page opens, you will go into sections because we need to start with the header menus. And you will go ahead and find header that you want. So there's different types and then you just drag and drop. And let's get our logo. So you click here and then you click the edit button. And then you click image select. And then I already have images, but then if you don't have, you can just simply upload. You can click here and upload. Fine, and then we now have our header section. So let's go ahead and remove whatever we don't want. So let's say we don't want why us, we can just remove. We only have home, features, services, about us and contact. Just for this purpose, I'll remove services. So we only have these four. And then the next thing that you want to do is to we need to add the body section, so we will go to components. Now we'll go to sections and then content. And we'll go look for a body that we want, select this one, and then you just drag again and you will put you to on the body side. So as you can see, we have this um, photo uh, generated for us in this page. So you are welcome to just delete whatever you don't want and you will change the weight based on whatever information you want. And then you can change as well the name or learn more or say maybe you want your people, uh, people who will access this to download maybe a book. You can change um, this and click download. Because we like to give away a free, free something so that people can come to our website. So we now have a body. So we'll come to the features part and let's select something similar, the colors, so that the colors are similar. So we now have features and you can remove whatever you don't want. It's that easy. Just click and then it will get removed. And you can change the words and create whatever you want to create. So and whatever you offer in your business, so you just select whatever and then you put anything that you can. We get our footers under section, so we'll click sections and then you'll see there's footers and you'll go and select the one that you want because there's a lot. So nice thing that I like about this is there's a lot of um, choices so we see you can just drag and drop also. And all you have all you have to do is just to click text and select whatever your company name is. So mine is Lindy Sherry, so I'll just change that. You can even add at 2020 if you want. And you can add the terms and conditions, private policies and documents. So our home will link to this page so you can just click but you have to go and check the section. So this section click here and check it's section two. So you will click home, you click edit and then you will click link. So we don't want this to link to another page. You want to scroll into a particular section. You'll see what I'm talking about. So I'll click there and select the section that I want which is section two, then I'll click apply. Because remember, this is section one. This is how you find section. And then this is section two. And then the features, it will be section three. So let's go 
map features also link scroll to a particular section uh, i don't remember if it's section three i think it's section three you now linked uh, section three. So the next one, but remember we don't have a section for our team. So let's go ahead and look for teams. So you can select uh, one to one that is not big, something like this one. And where are we going to add that? Just before footer. So we can just select. See, just before footer. So we now have a section for our team. So we can remove. And you can make this box smaller if you feel it's big. So we have a team. You can change the pictures of these people to add. It's just if you want to see how to change, you can just click here. And you click image and then you select the image and you download the image you upload the image that you want okay we'll just just for this example because i don't have good pictures but then you'll get pictures for your team members and the one that would look okay so as you can see you change the names as well and this section is section number four. And then we come to our team and link it to section number four. Link to a particular section and it's section number four. So now our team is linked, our features is linked and contact us uh, is not linked. We actually need to move this section. Mm. Let's just delete it and add it at the bottom. And we also need to add a section for contact us. This general simple one. So we now have our contact and our footer, and then you'll have the details according to what you want. And if you only want the email, then you obviously you delete. Or maybe if you don't want the address to show, you can just steal it there. And then we now have everything that we need. Let's go ahead and link properly because I don't think we linked properly, especially our team. Uh, it's pointing to some other section which are deleted. So our team is section four. Our contact, our, our team is section five. And then our contact us is section six. Okay, so let's go ahead and link our team is section five. Link, scroll to section five. Apply. Contact us is five. You go and link. And then let me just confirm because I'm making so many mistakes for it. Our team is four. Team. 
is for text. Okay, that one is right. So we now have a website that is connected. And if you want to see, remember you change the words. Uh, you can add the logo here at the bottom if you need to. If you don't want to, you can just delete this. It won't show. And you'll have to add another page or a section that talks about work if you want or about us or contact us. Or you can just... Um, remove this and add maybe terms and conditions and create a web document that you will upload to get here so people can read the terms and conditions okay so the next thing let's update our social media pages all you do you just come to facebook edit it will open and then you click the link and then you click link to extend our page because Facebook is another page. And then I'll just select one page like this one. And then I'll click uh, apply or I want this to open on another page. So I have my, my Facebook uh, edit. Say you want to add another, maybe Instagram, you just click clone. And you want to change this to be maybe Instagram because it's not showing Instagram. Then you click edit. And then you'll come to icon and then you look for Instagram. So all of this is done for you and then you click apply. So you now have Instagram come and add. Link to another external pay link URL. And you will replace the Facebook. Remember, we copied from the Facebook one. So I have my, and then you'll add more if you have more. But now let's test our website to see if everything is working as it's supposed to work. You click preview. This is how your website is going to look. Can you see? Remember, you have to change the way, it's based on, the way it's based on what you want. So remember when I say scroll to another section, when you click here, it will come to the section. When you click our team, it will open the sections. So when you click contact us, it will come to contact us. So that's how you create. And when you click Instagram, it will open Instagram. So this is how you create your website but i just want to show you something when you want to return you click return to dashboard and when you're ready to publish you just click publish live and it will generate a link and that link is your website so if you don't have a domain you'll use that link as your website but if you have a domain you'll have to set it up because remember I've, I've created a video for you guys to link your domain so you can start with that so that when you click publish Let's go click public. Oh, you can. This is the link for Katra. So it's lindicherries.katra. But you don't want your page to show that. So you can click edit and change the domain to your domain. There's a video to show you how to link. So it can show here. And you can specify maybe index page or home. And then when, you, when you're done, you just click this and then it will go and populate in your domain so that you have a site that is functional so this is how you add but remember when i said say you want to add a download um a document or something with a free download so that when your pe when your people will visit your site they want to access you can add a, a download now let's just say maybe say you want to give them a book so you can click download And you need to specify the book that you want. Where is that book? Um, I usually put my books in that they will download. And come to the site and click download. It will download the book for that person. Now have a functional website. I hope you are now understand. And if you have any questions, 
uh, you can put up on comments and I will help you with that. The, today's video was just to show you how to create a website in less than 15 minutes. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, uh, hit the bell notification and comment. Hope you enjoy your day.